Dr. Joel Pearson is a neuroscientist and psychologist who specializes in understanding the unconscious mind and intuition. He has developed methods to measure aspects of the mind that were previously thought unmeasurable, such as visualization, mental imagery, intuition, and hallucinations. Dr. Pearson aims to create objective, reliable tests for measuring mental states and experiences, moving beyond subjective questionnaires. His work has applications in various fields, and he has consulted for companies like Google and Pixar. Dr. Pearson recently authored a book called The Intuition Toolkit, which explores the nature of intuition and how to harness it effectively. Dr. Pearson defines intuition as the productive use of unconscious information for better decisions and actions. To study intuition scientifically, he and his team developed a technique called emotional inception. This involves presenting images to one eye while flashing bright colors to the other eye, rendering the image unconscious but still processed by the brain. Participants then make simple decisions in real time, allowing researchers to monitor how well they utilize the unconscious emotional information. Over multiple trials, people's decisions improve in accuracy and speed, and their confidence increases. Dr. Pearson emphasizes that intuition is not mystical or unexplainable, but rather a process that can be understood through science. He argues that definitions in science are flexible, and his goal was to create a practical, useful definition of intuition that could be studied empirically. This approach allows for building a guide to help people understand and improve their intuitive abilities. Dr. Pearson introduces the SMILE acronym to help people understand and develop their intuition. S. Self-awareness. Being aware of one's emotional state is crucial, as intuition should not be trusted when in highly emotional states. M. Mastery. Experience and expertise in a specific area are necessary for reliable intuition in that domain. I. Impulse and addiction. Distinguishing between genuine intuition and addictive or impulsive urges is important. L. Low probability. Humans tend to be poor at assessing probabilities, which can affect intuitive judgments. E. Environment. The context in which intuition is applied matters, as expertise may not transfer well across different environments. Dr. Pearson distinguishes between intuition and instinct. Instincts are more permanent, hardwired traits that can be adaptive or maladaptive depending on the context. Examples include the fear of uncertainty or the drive for comfort. Intuition, on the other hand, is dynamic and can change with the environment, associations, and learning. The podcast discusses the connection between intuition and bodily sensations, often referred to as gut feelings. Dr. Pearson explains that the body has access to information in the brain that we're not consciously aware of. This is demonstrated through physiological changes like increased heart rate or sweating in response to unconscious stimuli. The body taps into learned associations and unconscious information, leading to internal sensations that we interpret as intuition. Dr. Pearson advises practicing intuition with small decisions first to become comfortable with the process. He suggests keeping track of intuitive feelings, decisions, and outcomes to improve over time. It's important to be cautious about trusting intuition in unfamiliar contexts or when experiencing strong emotions. The book provides guidelines for when to rely on intuition and when to be more cautious. The conversation explores how intuition applies to various situations, from everyday decisions to major life choices. Dr. Pearson notes that people often rely more on intuition for big decisions, but suggests that practicing with smaller choices can lead to better outcomes overall. He also discusses how intuition plays a role in fields like sports, where quick decisions are necessary. The podcast touches on the difficulties some people face in trusting their intuition, particularly those who have struggled with addiction or mental health issues. Dr. Pearson acknowledges that intuition can be unreliable in these cases and emphasizes the importance of developing self-awareness and learning when to trust or question intuitive feelings. The relationship between creativity and intuition is explored, though Dr. Pearson notes that creativity is challenging to measure scientifically. He discusses the concept of flow states and how they relate to both creativity and intuition. The conversation touches on the mystical aspects of creativity that many artists describe, and Dr. Pearson expresses interest in studying these phenomena more rigorously.
Dr. Pearson's work on aphantasia, the inability to visualize mental images, is discussed. He explains how this condition affects various aspects of cognition, including memory, empathy, and risk assessment. The podcast explores the potential advantages and disadvantages of aphantasia, such as a reduced likelihood of developing PTSD, but potentially lower scores on measures of empathy. The conversation shifts to the potential applications of AI in neuroscience. Dr. Pearson expresses excitement about AI's ability to analyze vast amounts of scientific literature and complex brain data. He mentions ongoing research using AI to decode thoughts and visual perceptions from brain activity. The discussion touches on the ethical implications of these advancements and the need for careful consideration of their impact on society. Dr. Pearson shares his perspective on consciousness and free will as a neuroscientist. He expresses skepticism about the existence of free will based on current scientific evidence, but acknowledges the importance of feeling like we have agency and control for mental well-being. The conversation explores the philosophical and practical implications of this view. The podcast discusses the challenges of studying unconventional or controversial topics in science. Dr. Pearson advocates for an agile science approach which involves rapid iteration and small-scale experiments to test new ideas quickly. He expresses frustration with traditional funding models that can inhibit innovative research and argues for more flexibility in exploring unconventional ideas. Dr. Pearson outlines his vision for future research on intuition, including developing more sophisticated ways to measure and understand it. He expresses interest in exploring the relationship between intuition and other cognitive processes, as well as its applications in various fields. The conversation touches on the potential for technology, such as smartphone apps, to help people track and improve their intuitive abilities. The podcast concludes by discussing the broader implications of understanding intuition for society and individual well-being. Dr. Pearson argues that improving our relationship with intuition can lead to better decision-making and a more harmonious integration of emotional and rational thinking. He emphasizes the importance of paying attention to bodily sensations and emotions, which are often overlooked in our intellectually focused culture. Dr. Pearson reiterates that intuition is real and can be understood through science. He encourages listeners to practice using their intuition in daily life starting with small decisions and gradually building confidence. The conversation ends on a hopeful note, suggesting that a better understanding of intuition and consciousness could help address some of the fundamental challenges facing humanity.